This is a pretty different video to what I usually make, but given the subject matter, it's fitting to cover, given how important and awesome of a topic it is. That's being a new paleontology focused documentary that will be coming out soon. Forgotten Bloodlines Agates is a 3D animated documentary primarily focused on animals that lived in the agate fossil beds, which dates to the early Miocene epoch, around 20 million years ago. This area has a big cast of animals that while looking vaguely similar to ecosystems around today, there were some differences, especially in the megafauna, with animals like Diodon, among the largest known mammalian land carnivores around the size of a bison, being most closely related to hippos and whales, and being a big departure from what we usually think of as an apex predator, and Moropus, a calicothea, a close relative of horses and rhinos being the region's largest herbivore. Both of these animals are the main feature of the series, which will have three episodes dedicated to them. Other animals of the area will also be featured, from the small, basal rhino, Menoceros, and the camelid, Stenomylus, with each episode being about 15 minutes in length, with the first episode and all pilots having a very tentative release date of January 2025, though a proper release date hasn't yet been officially confirmed. This is because of the nature of the campaign and production, and so guessing a more reliable date for release will only come when the financial situation for those involved and working on the projects is more known of and stable. A big draw and something amazing about this series is that Nigel Marvin, the renowned British naturalist, is narrating the series, who most of you watching will know well from series like Chased by Dinosaurs and Prehistoric Park, who from the short clips shown will be providing a great amount of talent to the role, and making a return to paleo documentaries after over a decade of clamouring for him to return for some kind of project like Forgotten Bloodlines is now fulfilling. Alongside Nigel, Sarah Class, a film composer and award-winning musician is also involved, who is well versed in working with nature documentaries and providing emotionally resonant tracks to accompany the visuals being shown. The series also involves a great amount of paleoenthusiasts, paleontologists and animators, who have aimed over the course of about three years now to consult and figure out more about the environment these animals lived in, and how they functioned in it, with research being greatly aided by scientific advisors some of them being the utmost authority on many of the animals, allowing for the sod, yet strangely familiar world to be fleshed out in the most real way possible. To gain some additional background on the featured environment of the series, Agate Springs is one of the most productive and most well-known fossil-bearing locations in the world, with a ton of fossils being found with nearly exquisite preservation, often being articulators. This is likely due to the interesting taphonomic conditions of the locality and numerous valleys that now dot the Nebraskan landscape in this region since Agate Springs, as the name in some ways implies, was once filled with ephemeral waterholes, bringing herds of wildlife together during periods of drought, with many succumbing to dehydration and exposure in these areas, and, when the rains did return, the remains were often quickly covered in sediment, leading to the stunning amount of information we know about these animals today, a lot of which will be talked about and depicted in the documentary. America during the Miocene was a fair bit warmer than today, with the subtropical climates that featured a wide array of grassy plains and savanna alike, biomes now confined to the American Midwest, with a good amount of climate shifts also going on at the time which led on to the late interglacial periods of the Pleistocene further down the Cenozoic's rose. This turbulent period is further notable as being among the last times where the more ancient mammalian families survived alongside the base of relatives of modern animal groups, which made featuring this locality an ideal location to document. While many paleo documentaries go for the most iconic animals of the late Cretaceous and Pleistocene, other time periods, especially the Miocene, are shockingly under races and rarely depicted. Even Walking with Beasts, among the most notable of Cenozoic paleo documentaries, are missing it entirely. Animals like Diodon and Moropus used to be fairly frequently depicted in paleo arts back in the late 1800s through early 1900s, though this amount of art and attention faded over time, and now a lot of what we know about these animals is either misinformed or just plain out of date. This is where Forgotten Bloodlines comes in, with the goal of the series to showcase prehistoric life and environments that have often been overlooked, though doing so requires a lot of expense and money. To do so, a Kickstarter was launched in late February to help out in raising funds for the series, and to be able to pay the great number of people working on the series. The small, but still moderately sized and especially passionate team couldn't pursue such an ambitious project on fumes alone, and so the funds raised by the Kickstarter, as of me writing this, that has just fulfilled its first goal, will go a long way to getting the projects all finished and making it as high quality as possible. The funds that have been raised so far will go towards paying the members of the team who helped to make this project a reality in the first place, the majority of which will go towards helping with animation and a smaller portion of the funds going towards the concept art, marketing and music of the production. With the first campaign now fully funded, the first episode can now be completed and used as a pilot to gain support for the rest of the series, 
And if the further stretch goals of $200,000 and $350,000 are reached, the entire series can be produced, which would allow for even more Forgotten Bloodlines episodes to be made, potentially delving into other largely unknown Cenozoic environments, or even sometime in the Triassic and Paleozoic. Though for now, any discussion around the continuation will come later on after Agate is finished. The whole Agate storyline will play out over the course of three parts and or episodes, since it would otherwise be much harder trying to fund the entire 45 minute film all in one go. This is exactly why, even though this campaign has reached its goal, there is still more to contribute towards, and you get a good amount of benefits from donating it if you decide to. From getting your name features in the documentary's credits, early access to the projects and the original soundtrack, as well as a digital art book, high quality image downloads and models used in the series are also available. If you're really bold, you can even commission a little Easter egg to put in the project, which can be anything within reason, though it is pretty expensive. Funding this initial campaign as much as possible will go a long way to funding the rest of the series, so if you're able, feel free to contribute with however much you want, and if you can't, for whatever reason, sharing us around and talking about it with friends and family is another big help as well. The team behind the series want to release it on a streaming service of some kind, like Curiosity Stream or Netflix, though given it's an indie project, it's very possible it will just be uploaded to YouTube, which would be fine too. Whatever the case, the series is set to have as wide of a release as possible, and when and where it's placed will be clearly announced. All in all, I thank you for watching this video and from it, gain some more appreciation for the passionate team of people that have contributed and will contribute in the future to greatly improving the reach of paleontology to many thousands or even millions of people. And with that, I'll see you all next time, whatever that may be.